to our Sunday live stream. A bit earlier this evening, I'm wrecked, so I said I'd just get it out of the way. The workshop is tidy for the first time in a very, very long time. And the reason being is that this Wednesday, RT are coming down and they're filming a documentary about online marketplaces. So I'm doing a piece for that. I think I'll be putting a handle on an axe. Real crazy stuff. Um, so let me turn the camera around to give you guys a quick tour. Just while everything's nice and tidy. How do we turn this thing around? Here we go. So, um, is the camera turned around? I can't see a different or a bit now. Oh God, we're frozen. Oh, we're back. Cool. Oh, lads, I think flipping the camera is causing trouble. I can't see, I can see the, the chat, but uh, I can't see anything that's happening. Okay, we're back to normal now. Right, I guess I can't turn around the camera for some reason. So we'll just uh, tour the garage like this. So once you walk in, it's the workbench where we do most of the filming. I've got my power tools hidden down there. And then my hand tools kind of for green woodworking over there. Some other stuff on the floor. My um, lifetime supply, WD-40. My treasure chest. Keep that down there. 99% of the videos you've ever watched on this channel are with the phone leaning up against here and we use these lights that came out of an old Ikea dresser unit. Anyway, we had a super chat come in there from Dominic Lewis. Thank you very much, Dominic. How are you? So that's where we do our filming over there. Right behind us then we have my father's workbench. Now I kind of commandeer that, but um, I wish I could turn the camera around. No, I'm after freezing the thing again. Are we back? Can you guys see me at all? Okay, never mind. This is my father's workbench. All he ever had on it was a radio with a few kind of general maintenance tools for the house, maybe a hammer and a screw and whatnot. So that's all I kind of had to work with when I was starting out. Um, screws and nails we keep over there, along with the paraffin lantern. Comes in handy when we have the power cuts. Back here then, we have my arsenal of axes. This fella has been sold to some fella for 200 quid, so that went fairly well for me. Um, so hopefully I can make more of these handles over summer now because I really enjoy making those. Uh, this was a splitting axe I bought off my friend Michael. Splitting maul I borrowed off Michael. A splitting maul I made using Michael's pattern. And we've got some other kind of light forester axe here. I need to sell a lot of this stuff. Uh, well, the stuff that's mine. Up behind me here then, this features in the videos a lot, we have uh, the stairs up to the loft. Now, if we ascend the stairs, we'll see where we keep all the timber. I bought enough timber to build a boat, but I haven't got around to it yet. A curruck, I'm hoping I might do it in September. It'll all depend on whether or not I go back to college, which is looking less and less likely every day. Um, so we got some ash over here. That stuff still needs about half a year to dry. Whereas this stuff over here, bone dry. What else do we keep up here? I have a boat engine, a two stroke boat engine back here somewhere. If anyone's looking to buy one of those, I don't need it anymore. The last boat I built is kind of falling apart. Something I'm working on at the minute that I can show you guys is this molding plane. I did a bit of a repair job on it recently enough. So it's kind of covered in clamps at the moment. But I'll give it a quick demonstration, if I can get a cutting. I had a busy weekend, lads. Um, so I do, yesterday I got up Saturday morning and I uh, drove the motorbike. This fella back here, the Honda 70. 
uh, drove it down to um, Clannacilty, which is a town about an hour's driving west of here. They were having their old time fair, which is just kind of like a, where they closed down the town for a day. And they set up all these kind of old traditional stands. So you had coppersmiths going, there was a blacksmith there, there was a fella making sculptures with a chainsaw. What else we had? But basically, all the shops, they were kind of, they set themselves up how they would have been kind of a hundred years ago. It was cool to see. And there was a load of people in old dress about the place as well. This is a molding plane. Um, this part in the middle had kind of fallen out. See this part here? Um, so I did a bit of a repair job on that. And we'll see now. Can we get it to take a shaving? I have a feeling we... Oh, I, yeah. I don't think we can. There's a big chip out of the the blade here that I forgot about. So that'll have to be reground the whole way down. That's a bit of a job now. Maybe uh, maybe we won't do that on this live stream. I need that how much money for the boat engine? Make an offer. How did I cut the profile? I didn't cut them at all. They were, um, that's how they came like that. But I imagine they would have used a file or a, some sort of sharpening stone. It's very soft steel because um, in order to sharpen that profile, you have to use like sandpaper basically. Um, so that's how they would have done that. I suppose it is a lot of filing, but they would have kind of had the trick of it. Um, they would have been half mass producing these one time, I suppose. I don't suppose I could buy. Hopefully, um, I'll be selling axe handles by the end of the year. I have ambitions of setting up um, a website and selling blanks. Uh, but I know for the next two months at least, anyway, I'll be moving up the country doing the shows uh, for the fair days and stuff like that. So I won't be, won't be starting any enterprises before then. Do I have a number 10 and a half? I don't. Um, they're very hard to come by. Thoughts on merch? Uh, I don't like the fashion industry. I don't want to, to be a part of it, to be honest. I buy all my clothes second hand. Um, yeah, just it's an unethical business, really. The bike, the bike's kind of going. It's um, it was giving me trouble this morning. Uh, I had to pull in. I was on a vintage run. We were driving around the place for an hour. Um, I was the only one on a bike. The, but there was a few impressive vintage cars there, and the, the carb or something kind of got flooded. Um, so I kind of had to just pull in, and throttle it just to clear it out for a few minutes. And it's been going fine ever since. Why don't we uh, why don't we go for a spin? We'll duct tape this yoke to the bike and uh, see what we can do. Where's my tape now? I had duct tape here last night. Oh, there it is. Our electrical tape. <laughs> now we won't go far because we don't have any helmet on or anything. But we'll just do a quick zip up the road. I wish I could turn the camera around. That's very annoying that I can't. Have I ever thought about making bows? No, but I'll be uh, I'll be meeting with a guy who does it professionally. I don't know if this is a good idea at all. No, do you know what? We'll leave it off. I need to get a GoPro or something. Uh, I got a message over the week from, did you ever see that guy, Bradley Thor, or Thorin Bradley? He's, um, he does them videos where he gets these big massive blocks of wood and he splits them. Um, so he messaged me on, Insta on TikTok over the week and he commissioned me to make him a splitting mod. Um, 36 inches long, seven pounds is his preferred weight. Uh, so I have a call with a blacksmith tomorrow. I'm gonna make two of them, one for me and one for him. And we're gonna get a nice piece of ash and we're gonna make a beautiful handle. Yeah, vintage machinery and my phones are not, are not a good mix. What are you doing down here, huh? Lucy's sniffing about the place. Ooh. 
We got viewers from New Jersey. Manila. PB, how are you? With a super chat. Good to see you here again. Can I oil some handles? You just want to watch. Scroll on down. Someone can make a compilation, but we've no handles that need oil. But you know what? Maybe maybe we do. We've got a raw linseed oil here. Um, and I haven't oiled this fella today yet. Once a day for a week, once a week for a month, once a month for a year, and then once every six months after that. Now, the gloves have gone hard from the oil, so. Imagine that, what that was doing to my skin. Oh, you're just back to Canada, back from a trip to Ireland. Brilliant, I hope you enjoyed it. No polyurethane, I don't like polyurethane. I had to use acrylic on a guitar I'm working on at the moment. Just don't like the stuff. I think I'm gonna sand it all off and use Danish oil and um, furniture wax to finish the guitar, which I know isn't a proper guitar finish, but um, it's more in line with my brand to do it that way, I suppose. Um, unless that's horribly wrong and you guys can tell me. Um, but it's the video I want to make for the, um, the guitar. It's kind of like a, a promotional video for a musician. He's just kind of like, um, he's never actually going to use the guitar. I think it's just to promote his new album or something. So I need to finish the guitar. Uh, and then um, deliver it to him this week. So that would be exciting. Any specific reason I don't, I, I don't know, it, it kind of gives, polyurethane gives a very kind of plasticky, tacky, cheap look. I, I think natural oils look a lot better. No, I'd never made a guitar before in my life. Um, so I don't know why they got me to do it, but they did. All right, that's that one done. Whoa. Do I know the old program Hands that used to play on TG Catter? I have a funny story about that actually. I was watching, um, I think it's called The Powers of, The Powers of Metal or something in Ireland. Basically it was filmed in the 70s I think and it's of uh, the only cast iron foundry in the country up in Wexford somewhere. And uh, I was talking to a lad yesterday um, down at Clannacilty for the old time fair and it turns out this guy was actually the guy in the documentary from the 70s. So this is back when he had hair, this is a bald old man now. Uh, but he was telling me that, oh yeah, of the, I think they did like 26 or 36 different episodes of Hands about different people and only three of them are still going. Of like the, or either dead or retired and stuff like that. So the powers are still casting their, um, casting their iron all them years later. You can find, um, what you call it, episodes of Hands on YouTube. Very entertaining. Oh, I think we have a super chat there I missed. We better uh, get that. How much did I get for the Ashen Elm? That sold for 200 euro in the end. Um, can you replace the battery on the smoke alarm? It hurts my soul every time I hear it chirp. Is it still going? That's, uh, people complain about that a lot. Oh, there it is again. Let's knock out the battery of that thing because I don't think it's actually working. It's not a smoke alarm. It's, a, it's for the dog to stop her running out onto the road. Russell Carlson, thank you very much. Right. It's, so look, it's, it's running on battery power at the moment. It's actually plugged out. see what we got there. The phone battery is at 11% so we might have to have a slightly shorter live stream tonight. 
Ugh. Yeah, let's just do this here now. Let's take it to... I, I hope that's what it is. I wonder if it... This is the culprit. We're going to shut him up. Lucy's too old now, we reckon. She's just kind of been tricked into thinking it's always working, even though it hasn't worked in weeks. So we'll just fix it here now. No, she's legging it. She must have heard that the thing is off. Now I was Rob, one of my dad's screwdrivers. I left all mine down another workshop. I think I might have heard a beep from there anyway. Is this definitely the culprit? 10% battery warning anyway. Is Elm good for axe handles? Um, just use ash. Ash is relatively cheap, shock resistant, looks good, flexible. The only reason I used Elm was on the bottom here for what's known as the lamb's foot. I heard the beep from there, so it's I, I have no idea what it is, but there's something beeping in there. Um, just kind of so it fits into the hand better. Do you know what I mean? Alright, we have another. How much for my hat, brother? Um, well, I paid 70 euro for it. And uh, I like my hat, so I don't know what I sell it. Nah, there was a beep in there, and I have no idea what it is. I thought it was this yoke, but. There's something else beeping now. Pissing you guys off. What could it be? Yeah, it's still chopping and I thought it was this thing, but it's not. So now we... I s okay, maybe it is this. Ah! My mental breakdown coming to you live and direct. On my descent into insanity. Dumb question, what time is it? It is... What time is it? It's only... 20 minutes past 8 o'clock. And the sun will still be in the sky. Well, it'll still be bright for another hour or two. All right, Lucy. Yeah, Hartcast, Paul PC, Clanroche, Wexford Iron Foundry. That's the one. And it is the one. So I think I met a lad called Seamus. Um, he was down because in Clannacilty they were doing some uh, brass band competition. So he was with the band. That band was featured in the Hands episode as well. And a 70. It's okay, maybe it's the washing machine. Or the, the tumble dryer. Okay, that, that has to be what it is. Then why has it only started making noises the same time this stuff? We don't have a smoke and shavings and linseed oil rags, so I probably should have a, but it'll be fine. Go on, have a sup of that there now. Please look at the smoke alarm. There is no smoke alarm. Okay, we're finding the beep. That's it. Disappointing all you perverts. No more oil, oiling. We're going hunting for some beep. There was again. Thank you very much, Billy Totten, whose super chat says you're very talented for being self-taught. I'm only good at tricking people into thinking I'm knowing what I don't. 
All right, let's see what it is now. I have a feeling it's this dryer. Because that's the only other electrical appliance in here. Oh, it is smoke alarms. Why are there smoke alarms here? I didn't put those here. Carbon monoxide alarms even. We did it. All right. So we're dying of carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh, there we have them now. Lucy, she, she literally just walked out the door with something. What do you have now, Lucy? What are you after taking? Huh? Give that back. Or I'll keep you awake all night with my smoke detectors. Sit. See she is. Now, what is that? It's a bit of cardboard. You can, you can keep that. There we have it, lads. Take these beeping little bastards. Walk all the way to the other end of the garden. Uh -huh. Chuck them in the grass. There we go. Problem solved. Hit it with the mall. I don't know why they're there. I wonder if we have them in the house. I know we had one when we were lighting the fire. But maybe they were moved to the garage for winter when we're not lighting the fire. Freedom from that sound at last. Hallelujah. Beeping little bastards would be a good... I just heard them beep. Can you guys hear them beep? Great, I'm glad Jeremiah Douglas. His soul can mend. Let's see here now what we can do about charging you guys. I'll get back to the woods. Okay, I guess we can go back to oiling our handles. Yeah, I didn't hear it either. I, I went deaf to it over time, I guess. Uh, you do kind of grow, you know, you don't hear these noises after you just get used to hearing them, I guess. I heard them now, though. Selective hearing. There you go. Do I ever shellac candles? Never. Oil. Oil and wax. Oil and wax. This is Michael's splitting all. Very nice, small all together. He's over in Michigan at the moment, um, doing some sort of woodworking. I must talk to him. He lives up um, in Westmeath. I'll be staying with him for a night up at one of the steam festivals. Selective hearing, good training to be married. I don't know now what I ever marry. Seems like, a, it just doesn't seem like there's more cons than pros. If I go back to college, what will I study? I will study commerce. I'm going to talk about that, actually. I know I did make a Discord channel. Um, good one, Madigan. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, we started a Discord server um, with some of your guys' help uh, the other night. Um, I haven't been on my laptop much since then, to be honest, but uh, I must log back into it. It's great. I think we got a couple of hundred people joining. We we're all conversing sharing our projects and having a chat about who we were and where we were from. Good fun. Anyway, college. I um, I started college in the height of COVID, so it was all online. I should have known then that I should have just dropped out, but I didn't. I kept going. It was, you know, show up to your online Zoom classes. It was like 14 hours worth of classes a week, um, which is feck all, like that's nothing. Um, so I showed up to them anyway, and it was fairly boring, but I was like, oh, it'll probably be good when I go back in second year. Um, anyway, all the free time and being at home kind of helped me learn my woodworking, so maybe it did work out. Um, 
Lucy's gone to investigate the beeping noises there. <laughs> Look at her. But anyway, um, so I started college and then two years in, I was finished second year and I started third year with a couple of million followers on TikTok and, uh, you know, a woodworking career starting to take off. So a bit into third year, I was, um, I was thinking, you know what? College is bad and boring. I'll take a gap year and see if I can do this thing full time. So I did. I dropped out of college for the year and I started doing woodworking. And there was very little money at the start, first three months. Um, I wasn't really making anything. And I was like, okay, maybe this, this is a tragedy. Go back to college. Ah. Um, but over the last few months now, especially with YouTube taking off as well, um, I think I can do this for a living. Um, I'm making about what I'd be making as a first year graduate from this course I'm doing. So why not give it a go? Um, so yeah, I think uh, I might try to defer my college for another year because if I do go back, um, it means next summer I'll have to do placement in some sort of corporation and I don't want to waste my summer just working for minimum wage in some boring company that I don't like when I could be doing this sort of wonderful stuff up the country. So yeah, I think we'll give it another year and if we, uh, if we don't see a good proper future prospect for ourselves, in whatever the hell this is, we'll go back to college. I'm 21. What breed is my dog? Lucy, what are you? You licking the oil off the handles, you gowl, you. You old poor. Uh, Lucy is a super mongrel. Her parents were mongrels and their parents were mongrels. Isn't that right, Lucy? So, um, good genetics in her, you know? Um, She's there's a bit oh she just robbed some more cardboard. Yeah, that, that's probably what she mostly is. And yeah, she is what? How old are you, Lucy? You're getting on there now, girl. You're eleven or twelve. Um her mother is still alive at the age of fourteen. Her father died at suppose like the age of like eighteen, so Lucy will be annoying us for a while yet, isn't that right? Well, maybe not at the rate she keeps eating things she finds off the floor. There she said worse. How is the Telecaster? Um, it's going well. I think uh, there'll be a, a video up about it by the end of the week. Fingers crossed. Super Mongrel is a good band name too. We should be writing these down. Super Mongrel. What made me start YouTube? Uh, I started YouTube when I was like 14 or something. Um, and then I used to upload animation tutorials just because I wanted to make videos. Um, yeah, just something to do, I suppose. I grew up watching YouTube. So I was like, oh, maybe I can be on YouTube. There's so many fa- I was in, um, in Clannacilty yesterday a lad came up to me and he was like, I see you on Facebook the whole time. Look, look, look. And he pulled out his phone and he started scrolling through Facebook. Like they have Facebook reels. Um, and four videos down, he found a video of me with like 300 likes using, using a glass hammer. Where is it? Where I use the glass hammer. Um, and then he scrolled on a few videos more and there was the exact same video re-uploaded by another fake. So, uh, yeah, I, these accounts had like over 100,000 followers or likes or however they do it on Facebook. I've tried reporting them, but it doesn't seem to be of any use. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, at least I'm getting out there, even if it's not on my own terms. How often do I get, I got a really bad splinter yesterday and it was my first splinter in a long time. And normally I just get kind of a sharp object and dig it out. I find is the best thing. Okay, does fake Facebooks follow you? Because I found you that way. Okay, interesting. Um, well, then I guess not. I saw like a Mr. Beast podcast interview today where um, 
some fellow was giving out about people robbing his videos and re-uploading them. Um, but Mr. Beast was like, oh no, that's great. That's just more exposure for yourself. So, I do not. How many hats do I have? I must do a hat tour someday. Hey, reveal when? Never. Maybe if I'm really stuck for like clickbait, I'll do a video called Hey Reveal, but you'll never actually see it. We need to use Discord to mass report them, Madigan. Get on the Discord, lads. Let's let's launch an attack party tonight. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're past the 30 minute mark, so I think we're gonna wrap it up there fairly lively. You don't think I have the need for college? We'll see. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I don't. Commerce was never the right course for me, regardless, I don't think. Right, so lads, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the super chats. Goodbye and God bless.